Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be implementing multi-clip input to our video editor. If you have not watched the first part of this, this is not going to make any sense because I will not be explaining all the things which I explained in that video. But just to quickly show you what we're going to be doing today. Essentially, you will be able to put two clips in or more, and then essentially it will just cut in between them. And there you go. You can see the cut was right there. That's essentially what we're going to be implementing today. Now, it's going to be very easy. The first thing I changed here was the inputs and essentially now it's just an array. So instead of just input, then it's going to be inputs and we have each file right here. Then I also made this clip folder here, which we're going to be adding each clip into. And then down here, essentially, this is just the decode part. And all I changed here is that instead of just decoding the one thing, I'm just decoding everything in the inputs. So at this point down here, I have two folders in the clips folder. And each of those folders are going to have all the frames of each of their clips. And essentially, now I have to combine this into one big clip and put them in the raw frames folder. So essentially, what I'm doing is that I'm using this global frame count. And then let's say the first clip had 1000 frames and the next clip also had 1000 thousand frames. Then essentially I'm just looping through all the frames in the first folder, which will be in folder zero. And then when I get to the last frame, the global frame count is going to be at 1000. And then when we get to the next clip, then essentially we're just going to be keeping that count. And then the first frame of the next clip is going to be at frame count 1001. And that's essentially how that works. It's pretty simple. And you can see the code right here, uh, but it will of course also be linked down below. And then essentially the code works like before, but one issue with this was that I broke the audio. Now I think I know how to fix it and it is not the way I have written this code down here. I think that's the wrong way of going about it. I think what you should be doing is that you should grab each clip and take the audio from it and then add it to a folder and then combine all of those audio clips together and then add that audio to the output file. But maybe at some point I will get to do that. But guys, if you make that change, then please go ahead and share it so I can go ahead and put it in this example. But guys, that has been everything for today. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.